Here we have a word problem that deals with mixtures, and these can be tricky problems. Uh, we need to write an equation for this and then try to solve it. Most often with a mixture problem, you'll see it in this form. There'll be an amount of substance 1 times a concentration added to an amount times a concentration of substance 2. So two different things you mix together, and they're going to equal the total amount times the final concentration. And that's the general formula for uh, a mixture problem like that. We've got something slightly different in this one. We don't have a concentration of uh, a solution. We have types of coffee, and we have prices instead of concentrations. So we're going to use this general formula, but we're going to substitute in the price um, uh, for the coffee. Let's read the problem first so we know what we're talking about here. It says, Maria works at a coffee shop. She makes a blend that is a mixture of two types of coffee. Type A costs $4.69 per pound, and type B costs $5.85 per pound. Maria made 141 pounds of the blend for a total cost of $747.35. How many pounds of type A coffee did she use? So this, the amount of type A, is our X. Now, we're going to use this formula here. We're going to have amount times, actually in this case, cost plus amount times cost, and this is for type A, and this is for type B. Add those together, and you're going to get the total amount times the total cost. Uh, sorry, per times the so final price per pound. So remember, this cost is per pound. There's actually, this one's a little bit more complicated than your typical problem of this type. But let's see what we can plug in into this long formula. We don't know the amount of type A coffee. That's our X. That's what we're looking for. So we'll put that in X for that. We do know the cost. So we're going to multiply that by 469. Now B, we don't know the amount for that yet either. But we do know the cost. I'm just going to leave a blank there. And the cost is 585. Now, the total amount times the final cost per pound, we don't have that here either, but they've actually done that work for us. If you multiplied the total amount, the number of pounds, times the price per pound, you get the final cost of the whole batch. And we have that here, $747.35. So that's what I can put on this side of the equation. Now, what we're missing is the amount of um, type B coffee. Well, what is that going to be? We do know the total number of pounds used. That was 141. If X is the amount of A, type A, being used, we can write B in terms of X. We can say it's 141 minus X, because the total minus the amount you use for type A is going to be the amount that's left over for type B. All right, that's a lot of steps already just to get our equation written. But from here on out, it should be pretty straightforward. We're going to just try to solve this for x. The first step here is we need to distribute this 585. So I'm going to get my calculator out. We've got 141 times 5.85, and that's 824.85. And then 585 times a negative x is minus 5.85 x. That's going to equal 747.35. And then we have our, well, I'll just write this the other way, 4.69 times x. All right, we've distributed. Now we need to combine like terms. We've got this and this. So 469 and a negative 585. So 469 minus 585. And we're going to get a negative 1.16x. And then we've got our plus 824.85 equals 747.35. All right, next, we're going to get the x term alone by getting rid of this 824. We're going to subtract that. So 
0.35 minus 824.85, and that equals a negative 77.5. So we've got negative 1.16x equals a negative 77.5. Next, we're going to divide by a negative 1.16. So, and that is 66.8, let's call it 66.8. So 66.8 pounds of type A coffee was used in that mixture.